Welcome to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea, and in my household, there's me, my husband, and our handsome little boy. On our channel, I make simple meals using convenient pantry and freezer staples. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I made grilled chicken teriyaki burgers. I had a pound of ground chicken in my freezer that I needed to use. And to that, I added this teriyaki seasoning mix. It's for chicken, but on the back, it has directions if you wanna use it in ground meat to make ground burgers. So if you had two pounds of ground meat, you would add an entire package of that seasoning. I just had a pound, and so I just used half of the seasoning. I've got some red onions on there, and then for the sauce, I'm using this uh, Kinder's wing sauce in dip, the sweet and spicy Korean. It is good, I have used it on wings before and it's delish. Also, the bun is toasted with a little bit of butter. And then I made my own Asian style salad. Instead of buying the salad kit, I just decided to, to use what I have on hand. So I've got some chopped lettuce um, in there. And then to that, I added some wontons that I broke up a little bit. And then I added some sliced almonds. And then for the dressing, I used this. It's one of my favorite dressings. Um, I've bought it at Kroger, and I've also seen it at Walmart too, and it is so good if you like Asian flavors. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having grilled chuckeye steaks. I have these in my freezer for a while. I found them on sale a long time ago. And so I marinated the steaks in this Korean barbecue sauce that we love so much. It's actually a marinade in sauce and it is so good by Bibigo. And then I made some fried rice. I used this Kikkoman package. And then to that, I added a scrambled egg. I also added some of this chili oil, which is so good. And then um, I ordered these freeze dried vegetables off of Amazon. Um, I guess it's been a couple of months ago or so. And this is just onions and carrots, different types of onions and carrots. I rehydrated the veggies and then I added them to the fried rice. I love the fact that they're already diced up and ready to go and it is so good. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having chicken and dressing casserole. This is something that my mom used to make when I was growing up. And I actually recorded a video on our channel several years ago, I think it's been now, um, on how she makes uh, the chicken and dressing casserole. So I'll link it in the description box, but a shortcut version of this, follow the recipe, but just use a cooked rotisserie chicken and chicken broth instead of boiling your own chicken. It just cuts down on time a lot. And I am serving the chicken dressing casserole with green beans and some homemade mashed potatoes. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having chicken sandwiches. So in my freezer, I have this bag of Tyson chicken patties. So I cook the chicken in the air fryer. And so this is Howard's plate. So he has some cheese on the bottom. He's got Havarti cheese. He's got the patty, bacon, tomatoes, avocado, mayo, and then I fried some steak fries. And then this is my plate. I've got the steak fries, and then I've got Havarti cheese, um, the patty, bacon, and then I have barbecue sauce on mine. I did grill both of the buns, and I'm not, if you've been with our channel for a while, you know I'm not a big fan of mayo, so no mayo for me. But this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are using this teriyaki meal kit that I got from Kroger on clearance um, the other week. I showed it in a grocery haul, which I'll link in the description box. So it comes with veggies, sauce, and noodles. And here's the veggies that come in it. Um, so the noodles, I was really disappointed in. Here are the noodles. They came shrink wrapped and you're supposed to microwave them. Um, I ran some warm water over them to try to loosen them, but they stayed completely stuck together and I just could not pry them apart. 
So what I ended up doing is cooking up a package of ramen noodles and draining the noodles and then adding that to the stir fry mixture. And then I just finished following directions, added the teriyaki sauce. This is just okay to me. The teriyaki sauce is pretty sweet. So if you like a sweet sauce, then you'll like it. If you prefer a savory sauce, probably not gonna be your thing. Um, serving the uh, teriyaki stir fry kit with some shrimp spring uh, rolls. And these are really good. I've been buying them for a while. Um, I just popped them in the air fryer and here they are. And they actually do look like the picture um, on the inside. They do have whole pieces of shrimp and um, vermicelli. These are really very good. But this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time.